I would like to invite Masaru Clunter to the red corner of the ring. Please. Here comes the welcome. champion. Dennis Sedenko will be the referee in the final fight, which means that Patrick Gomez, Jerry Bell, and Tomas Koch will be the side judges. I would like to invite Fuad Sadehi to the here comes new car of the ring. Let's get the introduction from the Malignum main Vision. event of the evening. Rematch. It's W. It's W5. It's W5 time. true when it's transformed in your goal. Your friends, your family, all the people you love watch as you're moving. Sometimes they feel grieved that you're not always near them. But you know that you have to keep moving forward. To protect them. To be the best. To be a legend. To achieve the goal, you work hard every day of your life and you will never stop. Passion and obsession. You sacrifice much to make the next step to your dream. Then it becomes the very decisive moment, the culmination, the fight. You make the very last step to conquer what you want, but 
This is not a success yet. You could win, and you could lose. The big idea which determines the way of a champion, the way of a man who really want to be the best is never give up. If you lose, you will stand up and fight for your dream from the beginning. Don't panic and don't fear of revenge with your destiny. Repeat and renew your campaign and your work as many times as it would be necessary. To be a winner, one fine day is worth to be defeated many times. Choose the way of a champion and be the best in your daily life to feel the taste of a victory. Welcome to the main event of this spring. It's W5 Taipei. Never give up. Nice the way to European the main event. title in the weight category of 72.5 kilograms. Introducing the fighter in the red corner. 21 years old, 173 centimeters. His professional record is 26 fights, 22 wins, 9 victories by an account, and 4 defeats. The representative of Holland. Masato, the project Clunder. Introducing the fighter at the blue corner. 33 years old, 179 centimeters. His professional record is 131 fights, 103 wins, 34 victories by an account. 24 losses and 4 draws. Ladies and gentlemen, the representative of Austria, Fuad Ravan de Pimbul Fighters. Fighters going to the I'm sounding Holland.
Anthem Sounding Austria. National anthems have been played. Fighters meet in the center of the ring. The referee in the ring is Denis Sidenko, Russia. Judges are ready. This fight is about to happen. First round has started. Sir likes his combination, so coming with that knee, it's what did Defoe add in last time. Defoe's gonna try and stay away from those combinations. Defoe had wants that belt. He wants it here in Austria. Sir is young, but he's patient, he has a lot of poise. Nice right, nice left jab by Fouad. He's the first one to strike. Sir has got fast hands. He'll throw those combinations, he will get through your defense. He's very quick. Nice right hook by Fouad. Oh, he got him in the gluteus maximus, I think. Or was it a low blow again? No, he got him in the butt. And he must have hit a nerve because he is in pain. Crowd chanting Pitbull for their hometown hero. Nice combination by Fouad. He's landing a couple of those punches. Finishes it up with a nice leg kick. Good left hook by Masoro. Two left quick jabs by Masoro. Both land on the bridge of the nose of Fouad. That'll make your eyes water up if connected right. Voad definitely coming after Masuro. Lot different style than the fight in December. Good left hook, a good right hook. Good combination, Masuro counters. Takes a, takes a shot, Masuro takes a shot on jab. Nice left jab by Masuro. 
Fouad, definitely the aggressor. The last couple fights, he's been more patient, more relaxed, more defensive. This one, he's coming out, he wants that belt. Masura just tagged him for a combination, though. He's got to be careful. is strong and fast. He's also a lot younger. Ten seconds left in the first round. Fouad controlling the tempo in the first round. I'm going to have to give him this round. You may want to say it's a tie, but I think Fouad did just a little bit more to win that round. This is a five round fight. It's the only five round fight of the night. Get ready now for the second round to start. A lot can happen in the next four rounds. Right now, it's not dire for either fighter. Before I will want to keep this tempo up, there's a good chance of doing it. He'll control the fight, and that's what he needs. He needs to control the fight and make Masuro fight his fight. Masuro is much younger. The tempo is too fast. Before I can get himself in trouble again. And right there, Masura lands a good jab. Masura right now keeping Foad at bay by throwing those jabs to keep him at a distance. Foad's got a strong right leg. That knee will put you down on the mat. Exchanging jabs, both fighters. Smart advice over there by the coaches. Get them on the ropes. Don't go backwards. You don't want yourself on the ropes. Masura will love to get you in a corner. He's got super fast hands, and once he starts hitting on you, if, you, if he feels that he's got you buzzed, he's going to keep going right there is that left jab by Masuro. Good inside leg kick by Foad. You can see how Masura loves to throw that. He throws that punch, comes right back with the leg. He has good combinations, good command, good speed. Bo had much more energetic, he's dancing around the ring. Good left jab by Masuro. Another left jab, Bo had just walked right into that jab. He just missed that big kick. He spun around, and there was Masuro to say hello. But Masuro missed him. Foad just missed a big left kick to the head of Masuro. They're just missing each other right now. The big shots, the money shots. A big knee. There's that knee again. And it did get Foad. He's got to be careful of that knee. When Masuro comes inside, he's got a good, strong knee. He hit it on the nose last year of Foad. There's a big knee by Foad. 50 seconds in the second round. Masuro's first big combination, landing multiple punches. Comes inside with that knee to the ribs. Big uppercut just missed. Crowd start champ Pitbull. He's got the full support of the stadium. Masuro right now landing two big jabs. There's a nice right by Foad, followed by a left jab. There's another right by Foad. It's not the same Masuro Glunder we saw in December. That's for sure. He seems more vulnerable in this fight. That is the end of the second round. That, that round, I think, was more of a tie.
Nice combination right there. You see starting with that right uppercut by Masora Gwinder on the replay. Good uppercut. Caught, caught Foad by surprise. Landed three good punches. Fighters. Here we are, third round, about to start. You can see that uh, Masuro has a slight edge in terms of the amount of punches and kicks landed over Foad. It's the third round. The third round. Two quick left jabs by Masuro, gets past the defense of Foad. Oh, nice combination, head, body, head by Foad. There you see some speed by Masuro. He's getting through that defense right now. Brings that knee and he's gonna get close. He's gonna bring that knee right up to his chin and put him on his back. Foad does not want Masuro inside. Good right jab by Foad. Oh, a big left by Foad just tagged Masuro and he felt that one. Big left. Come on, Foad, get in there. Halfway through the third round, Foad in control of this fight, it looks like. It's his tempo, he's doing what he wants. He's got a lot of energy. He usually doesn't have this much energy. A nice right leg kick to the head by Masura. Masura just missed a big uppercut. Foad moving a lot, he's keeping his distance, he's doing a good job. He knows Masuro, he knows his speed. He's already faced him one time last year and he's definitely changed his tactics against this young man. This is where experience sometimes pays off over youth. You see if it can last for five rounds. We got a minute left in the third round. It's an exciting fight so far. Foad definitely dominating. Nice big left by Foad. Both fighters slip. Foad going with that kick right now to the midsection again. Lands it on the hip of Masuro. Hits him with a left jab. Masuro comes back with his own little combination. Here comes the crowd again at the end of this round, shouting Pitbull. They want that belt in Austria. They exchange kicks. Masuro seems to be slowing down a little bit. Foad's having his Come way. On, he is having his way with Masuro right now in this fight. The fight seems to be moving into Foad's benefit. 16 seconds left in the third round. Masuro doesn't have an answer. He's not throwing his punches. He doesn't have the speed he used to have. Foad is completely confident and dominating this fight. It's all in Foad's favor. Fourth round, two rounds to go. This fight is still up for anybody's grab. Fighters. Here we go. Fighters have been called. Ten seconds. Fourth round is underway. Let's hope Fawad doesn't start opening and himself up. Suri is a good fighter. 
He's a strong fighter. And if he, if he relaxes, Fouad relaxes, Masur will take advantage. He's still a fast, fast, fast puncher. Fouad comes in, throws those jabs. Oh, he got stunned! Masur stunned him again. He stunned him with a jab. Now he's coming inside. He's got him on the ropes. It's not, oh, Fouad might go down. He is stunned. The combinations are coming. The flurry of punches are coming. Again, Fouad is stunned, but he didn't go down. He gets away. He needs to recover. Oh, a big right kick to the head of Fouad, and he drops like a ton of bricks. He went straight down, but he came straight back up. He's stunned, he's dizzy, he's wobbly, he's gotta recover. Masuro did it to him again. He caught him when he was least expected, and now he doesn't know what to do. Masuro might put him down again. Oh, he's, he's having his way. Right now the gloves are up. Another knee to the chin. That knee is what does it every time. Foad needs to keep Masura away from the inside. Masura wants to come inside. You see him walking right inside and bringing that knee right up. That's his money shot. There's the knee again. Foad needs a knockdown right now. The tides have turned. Even if it goes five rounds, Masura has definitely changed the tempo of this fight. It's his fight to lose. A big right by Masuro. Foad is wobbly. Oh, he's going to go down again. And he slips, and the ref causes a break. Stunned again in Vienna, his hometown, by the same fighter. Masuro seems to have his number. There's another knee to the face by Masuro. Another one. He's inside. He's going to keep giving them that knee. Foad's cut underneath the eye. He's bleeding. And Masuro's just having his way with him. Combination after combination. Foad needs a big punch right here. He needs to change the tide. If he has any chance of not only winning, but surviving this round. And they're gonna bring a doctor to check his eye. Foad had this fight under control. It was his, and he got tagged again by Masuro, and he went wobbly, and that was it. This break is actually gonna be good for him and allow him at least, hopefully, to get his bearings back. He must be upset, you can see he's wobbly. He has a hard time standing straight. Let's see what happens in the last 40 seconds. Will Masuro finish him or not? Foad needs a big, big punch right now before the end of this round, real big. He needs to change the tide and the tempo. Come on, everybody. Two big punches by Fouad. Big right by Masura on a clinch. Big punches from both fighters right now. Fouad's still in it. But I'll tell you right, his time is ending. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pure excitement. Five rounds. Oh, Fouad hits him and stuns Masura. But Masura says, you know what, I can hit you back. Big left leg by Masuro, and he just missed that right leg. That is the end of the fourth. We're in the fifth and final round. Foad doesn't even know where his corner is. That's how dazed and confused he is. Will this one minute prove enough to allow him to last another round? Masuro looks young, he looks fresh, he looks ready to dominate the fifth round. Foad needs to come out strong. He is down and out. Points wise, I gotta say that I was going with Fouad up until that round, but he lost big, very big. He's gonna need a knockdown in this round to even the score. He could have taken the first two to three rounds. It was a close fight between the two, but that fourth round proved devastating for Fouad. And there's that right leg kick to the head that put him down. Here it comes, setting up again. Big right, there it is. You can see Fouad goes wobbly. And there's just those light combinations, but at that point it doesn't really matter when your brain's already fried and hazy. Let's hope he's cleared up now. He looks good. The senses look back. Mind you, he might still be a bit hazy, so it only takes one good shot to put him back to where he was. He's got to defend himself, but at some point he's got to be aggressive if he wants to win this battle.
Round five. That fourth round at best evened it. At worst, it gave Massaro the victory. Foad needs something really big in this round. Let's hope he can do it. The crowd wants to see it. They don't want that belt leaving Austria for Holland today. A lot of slipping going on. We got a wet mat. Inside is not the game that Foad wants to play with Masur. We've seen that. Oh, a straight leg kick to the face of Foad. But he says, you know what? I ain't going down yet. Let's go, big boy. Time out. The mat's wet. We need to dry that up. This is the fifth and final round, and an exciting round so far it is. Foad knows that he's in trouble of losing this battle by points. Masur knows that he, I may not have won it yet even with that fourth round. There's that big left leg kick. And these guys are battling it out. A great way to end W5's Vienna tournament here at Holman Dome. They're both slipping and sliding. The mat is slippery right now. Oh, a big knee to the stomach of Foad, but I'll tell you right now, he didn't go down. His defense is up. He's swinging, he's punching. Big left by Foad, but he hasn't stunned. Other than the third round, he hasn't stunned Masuro. He's got to put Masuro on his back, but right now Masuro's looking really good. His defenses are up. Two left jabs by Foad. He's ducked out. He's got good defense, but again, inside Masuro's deadly with that knee. Foad just missed. They're slipping and sliding. A minute and a half left here in the fifth round. Foad is cut, he's bleeding, his mouth is cut, he's wobbly. He just took a right leg kick to the head and then a left hook. Masur, you can see him, he's confident, he's strong, he's energized. There's a big age difference between the two. Seven years in this business is a lot. Masur just getting worn for using that elbow and here comes that knee again and he landed it again on Foad. Foad comes in with two knee shots to the sides of Masuro. It has no effect. 45 seconds. You got to go into slugfest, Foad. You got to go into a slugfest. This fight is yours to win if you can get in there and knock him down or get knocked out yourself. They're standing toe to toe with 30 seconds left. Masuro, right now, the stronger fighter, the more conditioned. But Foad's not giving in. He says, come on, bring it. A great left jab by Foad, but Missouri just nothing is affecting him now. He's got all the confidence in the world, and with 15 seconds left, we're going to go to the judges' score, it looks like. And unfortunately, I got to say, the judges' score favors Masuro Glunder and now Foad Siddiqui because of the fourth round. That is the end of the fight. A good fight it was, and it's going to be a close score. But I tell you, and I've said it before, and you've heard it, that fourth round meant everything to Masuro Glunder. and President W5, Sergei Chipinoga. Right now, the president of W5, Sergei Chipinoga, will be entering the ring. One judge's scores are in. Second judge's scores are in. It was a great fight. It went the distance. Foad definitely came out much more prepared. He stood toe to toe even after getting knocked down. He says, you know what? Let me knock me down. I'm still going to go toe to toe. I'd rather be knocked out than stand and do nothing. And good heart, good battle. It was a great fight and a great way to end W5. And right now, we got Sergei Chepinoga who's going to be giving the belt to the winner. Will it stay in Masuro Glunder's hands and go back to Holland? Or is it staying here in Austria with Foad Siddiqui? It's going to be a close one. They're counting the scores. It was a great fight. Ladies and gentlemen. The winner is by Unanimous Decision. Unanimous. The champion of Europe of W5, Masaro Kl
the it's other. There. Without that knockdown, Froad might have pulled out the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for tuning in. It's been a lot of pleasure. My name is Dan Repko. I want to thank our sponsors. I want to thank Dmitry Ivanov and Sergei Chipinogov. I, I want to thank all the fighters and all the crowd that came out here at Hallman Dome who, spoke, who held the event here. It's great. It's the second time we've had it in this arena, and it's an awesome arena. And to all the fans that tuned in and showed up, and to all the judges who did a great job, and of course, Satellite Division, who did a wonderful job in the middle of the ring. My name is Dan Repko. I'll see you June 4th in Zagreb, Croatia. For now, have a great night. And remember, it's W5 time. <laughs>